Hello Pisces, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be another general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Do keep in mind that the energies, the messages here, this could be a situation for you that is vice versa. It is a general reading. Um, this could be something happening now. Did I say that already? <laughs> so the readings are timeless, sorry. So you can watch this in the next 20, 30 years and that motherfucker still resonate, all right? So, with that being said, Pisces, let's go ahead and get started. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Angels, please tap me into the general energies of Pisces. Tap me into their higher self. For what coming towards Pisces, please, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Pisces. Who is coming towards Pisces in love, Spirit? Who is coming towards love? Who is coming towards Pisces? All right. Queen of Pentacles is the general energy of the reading. We will see how this ties the fuck in. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, Pisces. Okay. Angels, who or what is coming towards Pisces in love? The Pisces Collective. Who is coming towards Pisces and love spirit? Who is coming towards Pisces and love? Ooh, there you go, Pisces. Here you are. It's you. Better not be a secretive motherfucker. Who or what is coming towards Pisces and love? Who is coming towards Pisces and love? Okay. All right. So you have the Three of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. I don't feel like this card is it, so we're going to put that back. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Yeah, I see that here again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who or what's coming towards Pisces in love? Who is coming towards Pisces in love? Wow. Who is coming towards Pisces in love? Pisces? <clears throat> is this somebody who took you for a damn fool? Because you have the High Priestess, the Three of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like someone, maybe you feel like you can't trust this person. Like you, you can't trust this motherfucker. But it looks like the person that is coming towards you, I don't know what the hell they did. Maybe you feel like they took advantage of you or that they were trying to. They could have been a player from the Himalayas, a fuck boy, fuck girl. But the Five of Swords in the reverse tells me that, you know, this is someone who wants to put down the swords. This is somebody who wants to do the right thing. This is somebody who wants to, um, it's like they're coming at you with a different approach. You know, because the Knight of Pentacles, this motherfucker, he's slow, but he is reliable. He's dependable. Okay? He's trustworthy. He's all about trust. It's like, you know what, Pisces, what I'm just hearing? I'm hearing you don't want to hear this person's words. You just want to see action. That's what I'm hearing. So until they get their act together, I feel like you're giving them the silent treatment and you're not, you're not, um, you're not entertaining this person. You're not talking to them. This person obviously broke your heart through your swords. Could have been third party situation. Three of swords in reverse. This indicates that this is someone who broke your heart and now they want to fix it. They want to heal it. <laughs> wow. Sorry guys. That shit tends to happen sometimes. When I get too hyper, the camera will just fall on the floor. <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing the Knight of Wands. It's almost like the Fool in the Reverse. For some of you, this could have been someone who had like a fair commitment. For some of you, but it's like they want you to accept. They want you to take them back because it's like the Four of Cups is in the Reverse. It's like they want you to accept their cup again, but they're willing to be patient and move slowly with you, so as to. Get back into your good graces. For some of you, this, I mean, you could be dealing with a new person and they show up as a Knight of Pentacles, okay? This is someone who you can depend on, that you could rely on. And you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of bullshit, you know, with people. And it's like they're willing to take it slow with you. They don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. So let's see. <clears throat> we deal with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, possibly Aries. Clarify the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess coming towards Pisces and love spirit? Okay, the Page of Cups. Yeah. So it's like, this is somebody who, um, you might feel like they're immature emotionally, possibly. 
page of coins in the reverse, the knight of cups. So it's almost like you're not going to spill out your emotions to this person or even if they're new, right? It's different for everyone. It's like you're not going to give this person your all emotionally until you see just who they are and what they're about. Knight of Pentacles. This is like this type of night. He wants less talk and more action. So I feel like you're not jumping into anything with anyone. You're not taking any leaps of faith until you see someone really prove to you that they have your best interests in mind. They have pure intentions. Okay? Because the high priestess, I feel like this is you. Right? Because it's a Pisces card. Clarify three of swords in the reverse. But I just feel like this person, um, you know, they're willing to earn your trust and your love. That's what they're, that's what it looks like. The wheel, the knight of coins. See, it's like taking it slow. Justice, yeah. Taking it slow. Because it's not going to be easy for you to let this person in is what I pick up. It's not like you're completely closed off to it. But it's like, you know, you're like, okay, let me see what the hell you're about first. That's what I'm feeling, Pisces. Because you probably got out of something not too long ago, possibly. Or maybe you've just really been healing. And you don't need a motherfucker to come and disturb your peace. Four swords in the reverse. You've released a lot of things. Um, possibly past baggage, possibly, um, Pisces. And you just, the last thing you want to do is put yourself back in the same predicament. So, you know, even though there's a connection here with this person... Um, you're kind of holding yourself back, Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. And like I said in the beginning, for like 1% of you, right, it could be um, a situation to the person that's dealing with you or, sorry, the person that's coming towards you. This is someone who actually did the fucking bullshit, right? This is someone who probably did hurt you. For others of you, it could be a new person that this is about. So it's general. It's different for everyone. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. But I'm seeing here, overall, Pisces, that this is someone who wants to prove to you, clarify the Knight of Pentacles, that they're not going to fuck you over. Ace of Cups. See, they don't expect you to pour out your heart to them right away. They don't expect you to, you know, just make, make any big leaps of faith. Because it's almost like this person may know that you've been hurt, like you're going through something. The lover, see, they're willing to work towards this because they do love you or if this is a new person they do feel a very strong connection towards you the four of cups is in the reverse again see this person's not going to give up on you <laughs> oh that is so sweet this is someone who they're not going to give up on you is what i feel clarify the five of swords in the reverse for pisces this is someone who is willing to be patient with you Yeah, it's like you're probably undecided, right, about relationships and love, Pisces. It's almost like I feel like you just need more time. Possibly, Pisces, it could be interchangeable. I mean, this could be the person you're dealing with. You feel like they need more time. You're willing to be there for them. Two of Swords is in the reverse. Could be a Libra you're dealing with, Pisces. All right, what is the Four of Cups in the reverse about for Pisces? Who is coming towards Pisces and love? Why is the Four of Cups in reverse? Maybe this is someone who, you know, they, they fucked you over. But it's like before you weren't willing to look at their cup. You weren't willing to, but with it in the reverse, maybe you're willing to um, to take, not really take them back, but to, it's like, it's almost like you're open-minded to see if this person has changed or not for some of you. Clarify the Four of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. See? Yeah, this could be someone that you were in a relationship with, Pisces. Or maybe even married to for some of you. Perhaps this person, um, they committed adultery shit. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse tells me that before you were closed off to this person. And maybe um, time has passed possibly and you're considering giving this person another chance. Different for everyone. If it's not you, then it's another Pisces could relate to that. Okay? Let's clarify the full and the reverse. But 
what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is that you don't have to worry. Because I feel like this person, they're not showing up as an asshole. There's, the Knight of Pentacles is the most reliable and the most genuine Knights of them all. It's not the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords, okay? This is someone who, um, yeah, I feel like they, they're, I don't feel like they're, they have fucked up intentions. But I mean, it's up to you to discern that, right? But based on the energy I'm reading here, it's like, I don't feel that way. Yeah, this person is not going to try to force you into anything, Pisces. You may have dealt with people who are very um, self-centered, selfish, king of wands reverse, player from the Himalayas in the past. You have death here. Be a Scorpio you're dealing with. I was like, this person knows that you have a lot of fears, okay? And they're willing to uh, be patient with you and work through them. Because they do have feelings for you. See, fear is showing up. <clears throat> and just tell me more about the situation for Pisces. Who is coming towards Pisces in love? Tell me more. I see this Knight of Coins energy. Knight of Coins is very good to get. The universe has a plan. Interesting. Tell me more. Pisces. Walking away. Yeah. So this may be someone that you've walked away from in the past, possibly. Maybe you're thinking about revisiting it with this person. Who knows? Oh, what's coming to us? Pisces in love. Ooh. Okay. Past life connection. You also have, you left quite an impression. Unhealthy patterns. Someone could have some unhealthy patterns here. Tell me more. Who or what's coming towards Pisces? In love. I got to do this until it feels right. So me you're like, just pick a card already. <laughs> obstacle ahead. Yeah, there's an obstacle here. There's an obstacle here. I just kind of feel like someone just needs more time. And the other person understands that. Dreaming of you, this person dreams of you a lot. You have marriage here. Loyalty. Sadness and loss. Yeah. Dealing with a lot of a lot of heart, heartache, heartbreak. From the past Pisces but I feel like you may not be ready yet to get into a commitment or to be with anyone right now um, so this person's gonna have to be super patient with you period that's what I feel I have to be super patient with Pisces balancing the situation and receiving a message yeah let's see if I get more Angels, tell me more about the situation for Pisces. Who is coming towards Pisces in love? Tell me more about the situation. All right, see? The Six of Cups. This could, you could feel like this person is a soulmate because, I mean, we did have the past life connection. But this person feels like you are their soulmate. I feel like this is a new person, Pisces. I really do. I feel like this is someone that you may have met not too long ago, possibly. Or, for some of you, it could be someone from the past. Maybe coming in out of nowhere, wanting to apologize and shit. So, that is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all very much, and I will see you guys next time.